Hi, Gary. Hi there, guys. How are you doing today? All right, I just would like to talk about today about Genshin. Uh, yeah, our favorite game. The game, the game that we love the most. Our main game. That should be our side game. But yeah, I have three accounts, so I can make this my main game. So, but yeah, so I'm also busy these days. So it's kind of okay for me to not be pressured with events. So yeah, so that's what I want to talk about. So as you can see here, so I'm ma capped out on resin 160 or 160 because I've been very busy, very very busy. I'm trying to find a new house, a bigger one, to have, bigger house to buy. So yeah, so I could. Uh, uh, so I need, because I need room to grow, so I need a bigger house. So that's it. Well, yeah, so back to my topic, so why, I think that I will title this video, why the 2.7 delay is, uh, let me start the broadcast first, no, I can't start the broadcast, whatever, so, I'll broadcast the stream later, so, yeah, so why the 2.6 extension or the 2.7 delay, so we have here an indefinite, <laughs> Ayaka, uh, permanent Ayaka banner, so why, so C6, Ayaka, here we go, so why the uh, the delay is good for both the developers and the players, so first of all, I'm not hating on the developers, it's just because if someone is talking about a topic, this, and uh, doesn't mean we're hating, uh, we just like to uh, uh, express our some of our thoughts, concerns, and opinions, so whether you disagree or not, disagree or not uh, there's no reason for for us for us to go to open war just because of opinions and uh, misconceptions and subjective understanding of each other's words, thoughts, and opinions. So uh, I don't hate the developers for the delay. Uh, real life happens, so it happens. It is what it is. There's not much what we can do about it, but but I wish the developers all the best. And I wish them uh, to be safe. I hope they will be safe. And, and yeah, I'm not really angry that it's delayed. So there's nothing we can do about it. It's reality. Okay, so yeah, so it's good because for the developers, they will be safe. Okay, so uh, they need to follow the protocols or what's going on, what uh, their government uh, knows the best for their safety so if it's for their safety for their country for well it's uh, the developers uh, I mean uh, good luck to them stay safe so it's good for them at least they can stay safe okay so that's uh, one of the good things about it and it's also good for the developers as well I mean maybe they can also take uh, maybe, maybe uh, Take a vacation as well, so might as well take consider it as well as a like a long vacation. So well, I do really hope they're still getting paid or they, they can still have some income. But at least they they can take a break and some have a so, sort of a, a vacation. And at least when the content comes out, it it will be more polished. It should be or the best quality is possible that they can make as usual rather than just a rush the version update considering all the problems with the world and we will have like a disaster update so it will, it will be really bad for them as well I mean well they will be losing a lot of money but they have uh, they already have I think <laughs> I think they already have like infinite money <laughs> I don't know uh, they have really more money than that so it is what it is. So all of us are affected economically, financially, even though these big companies. It is what it is. At least they have a, a whole lot of money already. And uh, unfortunately, well, at least at least they can uh, give the game a break, you know, so that the players as well. What's good about it? Because the players as well can take a break and finally take a break you know from playing the game religiously all day one to two for me three accounts multiple accounts uh, if 
fearing FOMO every day, 24-7, 30 days a month, 365 a year, fearing FOMO. So at least uh, we can take a break from FOMO and our wallets can take a break. So at least we can reflect on ourselves, on ourselves and think about our mistakes <laughs> of wasting all, all of our money, hard-earned money, when we could have just waited for the rerun. Because of the FOMO, the dopamine, and the addiction. So yeah, it would be great for the players as well to take a break. And uh, uh, playing this game like every day for a year for like 10 to 15 hours a day. If you're like me, if you have multiple accounts in your uh, <laughs> Genshin content creator, no matter no matter how small or big, it, it, no matter how much you love something, I mean too much of something is bad enough. So I think having a break is great. So maybe we can. So what's the pro what's what's why is it good for both for me? I'm able to spend more time with my family, with my siblings, uh, with my friends. I'm able to go out more, touch grass more, do more things, be more productive, uh, learn more things, uh, discover and try out new things. So I mean, yeah in reality and spend more time with my neighbors uh, get to know my neighbors so i just moved in to a new place a couple months ago so still getting to know some of the neighbors here i don't really know all of them yet so yeah so at least uh you're you're not just exposed uh, i mean not just stuck all day in the house in your room uh, you're, you're again i'm exposed to society again so and so I'm able to like uh, build my social skills again. Shine down. Everybody stand back. So, uh, yeah, so I guess that's it. So everyone can take a break. So do I mean, why? Because there's no reason to. So because there's no content. You know, it's just the new story. That's that's the content. New story, new events. Uh, but there's, uh, at, the, at the end of the day, there's really no content in this game. Honestly, so... Yeah, there's no content, so... No skins, so nothing, no end game to do. You just do the spiral, you just, you just do the spiral abyss. Do the dailies, do the quests, the events. Yeah, there's, there's really nothing beyond that. Genshin is very, very casual game. Well, I think, I, can, I think that's it. So yeah, comment down below what you guys think and see you in the next video. Alright. Peace.